All right, good news though that the storm is weakening and hopefully that will continue. Melanie Woodrow is in Norfolk right now where the governor has given us a lot of important information. Melanie? That's right. For viewers that are just joining us, there was a press conference here a short time ago. Governor McDonald referred to this as, quote, a very dangerous storm and also possibly the most catastrophic weather event that Hampton Roads residents will experience in their lifetime. So far, about 100,000 Hampton Roads residents under a mandatory evacuation. And it's not only residents, but also business owners that are taking heat this advice. We have some video to show you of some businesses on Collie Avenue in Norfolk, Red Dog Saloon, as well as Harper Gallery choosing to board up their windows this afternoon. I asked the owner of Harbor Gallery, rather one of the employees there, why she was doing that this time around when during previous weather events they've chosen not to. They kind of are telling us it's going to be really bad and we feel like better safe than sorry. You know, um, we're a high-end art gallery, so a lot of our art is consignment. We want to protect our clients. Earlier this evening, I interviewed Mayor Paul Frame, and he said that while previously in Norfolk, they were asking residents in those low-lying areas to be gone by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. He has now bumped that up. He thinks that 8 a.m. is too late. He's now suggesting that residents who are in those low-lying areas, any place that's flooded in the past, be gone by this evening. Guys? All right, that's, a, that's good to know, even though it still could be a very, very tough storm. Thanks a lot, Melanie. Okay. Well